Chinese Communist Party leader Xi Jinping's current trip to Europe, aimed at improving relations between China and Europe, has encountered obstacles. The Business Confidence Survey, conducted by the European Chamber of Commerce in China, has dealt a blow to the trip's outcomes, revealing a record low number of EU companies choosing China as their main investment destination. The chamber has cautioned that it could take several years to restore confidence in China as an investment destination. A large number of surveyed companies have expressed pessimism about current growth potential, as well as the outlook for conducting business in China. In light of this, many companies are considering cost-cutting measures, including layoffs, which could further exacerbate the country's economic situation. Chairman Jens Eskelund of the European Chamber of Commerce in China mentioned that certain European countries are downsizing or decreasing their activities in the country. Despite China's surprising 5.3% economic growth in the first quarter of this year, which was fueled by government infrastructure and high-tech industries such as electric vehicles. There are still concerns about overcapacity and its effects on both the job market and consumer confidence. The Chinese Communist Party is trying to direct the country's economy from real estate to high-tech industries. This has raised concerns among foreign governments about the possible export of subsidized Chinese products, which could negatively impact local industries and jobs. EU leaders are therefore thinking about imposing substantial tariffs on Chinese-made electric cars and wind turbines under countervailing laws. Although Chinese authorities deny the existence of this overcapacity, tensions continue between China and Western countries. Xie Tian, an expert from the Aiken School of Business at the University of South Carolina, suggests that the EU might impose high tariffs similar to those imposed by the United States. However, if Chinese cars are produced in Europe, Bypassing the issue of exports, it could alleviate some concerns. The investigation launched by the EU is still ongoing, and the conditions set by the Chinese Communist Party regarding investments in Hungary may influence the outcome. Additionally, there are reports that U.S. President Joe Biden is planning to announce new tariffs on China. These tariffs will specifically target strategic industries such as electric vehicles, semiconductors, and solar equipment. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Lin Dian has criticized the U.S.'s intention to increase tariffs, stating that it would disrupt economic and trade exchanges between the two countries. Xie Tian believes that if the U.S. triples its tariffs, it could be a reference for the European Union's approach to tariffs on Chinese goods.